Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to talk about how to visualize the categorical data, reship the data, and put it into the box plot or the other plots that will help you to do the data analysis. Let's quickly uh, look at how to do it. Uh, this will be a very uh, brief uh, introduction to you. Uh, so let's uh, clean the data a little bit and um, we'll uh, give you some introduction of how uh, it will look like. First step, uh, we are going to uh, do a uh, or construct a data frame that will be a few uh, uh, random, like three random variables and with some ID and um, uh, as we can see there are some uh, factor columns and uh, we assign an A, B, C, uh, uh, etc. the 10 letters in, uh, to represent the uh, factors in this uh, data frame. So let's run this quickly and we can also take a look at this data since it's only uh, 10 uh, rows of data, we can actually double click this and to take a, a brief look at this whole data set. It's very small, very neat, and will help you to understand how to reship the data uh, in order to visualize in a box plot or the other formats of the a plot. Uh, let's re. Uh, uh, load the reship uh, library and, uh, and there is a function called melt is here uh, uh, well actually the ID is very interesting uh, the, f the the parameters we put here that's what we want to keep uh, we will see very very uh, quickly uh, to see how this works we melt the data from a relatively a wide data into a, a, a longer data, uh, but uh, you can show uh, the factors uh, in this data frame. Let's uh, take a quick look, and we uh, we we can uh, directly look at view this data set. We can see it becomes uh, longer uh, because it's combined these three variables into to one column. You can imagine it. Um, uh, be, uh, becomes a three times longer uh, than the original data frame. So it be kind of a narrow, a squeeze it and assign this variable one, two, three into one um, kind of a, a column name called a variable. So that's uh, how this works. That's how essentially the, the function, re, uh, the melt uh, works or how this package reship uh, and how it works. Then let's load the uh, ggplot2 and visualize it. So that's uh, that's what we uh, we got. We can see the differences or what uh, compare the um, the intervals and the, uh, well, that's uh, that will be very helpful when you. Um, want to visualize something and uh, reship the, your, your data frame uh, before you do the visualization. Thank you uh, for watching the video. See you next time.